What's going on guys? Stefan here with you, s and &E's Garage, and today we're going to get this K24 Kraken VTEC on all four cylinders. Well, I hope you like my corny intro, uh, but today uh, we are going to be giving this thing a nice tune-up with some Denso Iridium Power spark plugs. Uh, these cars come with iridium plugs from the factory, and that is what you should use when you replace them. Uh, these are part number IK200L. So this is what we are going to be using. I'm going to set you up on the tripod. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do here is remove the ignition coil cover. It's just held in with four 10 millimeter uh, dress-up bolts. They're like fancy looking little bolts. And uh, that's going to give us access to the coils. All right, like I said, going to zip these off, being careful not to lose them. Like so. And then this cover will lift right off. And now we have four 10 millimeter bolts to pull the coils off. Now just be mindful that cylinder number two and cylinder number four have the longer bolts uh, with the studs on them for that engine cover. So be sure you remember that. Number two and number four. So we're going to go ahead and pull these coils off. tricky to get your socket on the longer ones. We got them off, we're gonna put them to the side. All right, now we're gonna pop our coils off. You're just gonna twist and pull. Break the seal, twist and pull. We wanna break them all loose here before we pull them all off because we need to almost pull them off kind of at the same time with this harness, like so. Uh, you know what, we're gonna plug these. One. go ahead we're gonna grab a flashlight I'm gonna take you off the tripod and we're gonna peek down those spark plug tubes make sure the spark plug tube seals aren't leaking and uh, we're gonna go from there now we did have the two that we unplugged the uh, the connectors broke the releases that's super common they get brittle from heat uh, but we're gonna probably end up using the zip pie trick to, to you know get them back on but we just want to take a peek down here down the spark plug tubes we're going to check for oil on top of the plugs that would indicate that the tube seals are leaking and we look like we are in good shape. So now we're going to go ahead, grab our 5 8 spark plug socket and break the plugs. All right, we got our spark plug socket. This has a little rubber uh, insulator inside of it to grip the plug when you pull it out. That way the plug doesn't get stuck down in there. We're just going to... We're going to break all four of them loose, like so, and then we're going to grab our electric ratchet and get them out the rest of the way. As we pull them out, we're just going to take a look at them. These are NGKs. <clears throat> NGK and Denso are pretty much... Uh, interchangeable they're both quality plug and uh, if I do say so myself this K24 does not look like it's going to be an oil burner because this spark plug is not covered in soot that is a very very good sign here's number two nice tan color very very good I'm super happy with what I'm seeing right here I 
again. Nice tan in color. Now we're moving on to cylinder number one. We started at number four. Beautiful. Again, nice and tan. This is exactly what you want to see when you pull your spark plugs out. If they're black and covered in soot, uh, you're either running really rich or burning oil. Um, if they're white, you're running lean. This tan color is perfect. All right, guys, so we're just going to unbox one of our new spark plugs here. And we're going to compare it to one of the ones that we took out. We're going to make sure it looks it's the same, and it does. Everything here looks good. You'll see how nice shiny the new one is. So we're going to go ahead, start dropping these in. So if your spark plugs were a little bit tight coming out, I would recommend putting a little bit of lubricant on the threads like engine oil or fogging oil or something like that. Uh, these came right out, so we are not going to worry about it. We're just going to thread them in by hand. Here's cylinder number three. Oil flying all over the place here. All right, moving over to cylinder number two. Last but not least, cylinder number one. And then we are going to crack out the torque wrench. We are going to torque these down to spec. All right guys, now just for clarification here, I've installed thousands of spark plugs in various different vehicles. I know when tight is tight and how not to over tighten them, uh, but in all of my videos I do replacing spark plugs, I use a torque wrench just to show you the correct way to do it. If you don't know how to tighten spark plugs or it's not something you've done very often, uh, it's very easy to over tighten these, especially in an aluminum head. Um, so if, if this is the first or second time you're doing spark plugs, I definitely recommend a torque wrench, but it's not needed. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we're going to be torquing these down to 16 foot-pounds. That is Honda's specification. So we're just going to go ahead and torque these. And all you're doing when you're torquing your spark plug is crushing the crush washer. And just for conversation's sake, this washer right here at the bottom... Um, Basically, the bottom of the threads is the crush washer. Uh, you're basically crushing this onto the head to create a nice tight seal for combustion. And there's that one. All right, so now we can go ahead, drop our coils back in. All right, now that we got all four coils or spark plugs installed, we're going to go ahead and drop our coils in. And then I am going to attempt to show you the zip tie trick here. I'm assuming it works. I've only done this on Toyotas, but there's no reason that it shouldn't work with a Honda. If not, we're just going to leave them alone. They're they're secured under the coil cover. And they ain't gonna come undone. But if we can get them secured, we will. Now, all right, zip tie trick don't work on Hondas. They ain't coming off. We're good. Let's get our uh, hardware. Put them back in.
Remember, two and four have that weird stud for your coil cover. Right. Go ahead and grab our electric impact. Very good. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our coil cover. Yeah, those ain't coming out. They're good. We're going to grab our coil cover. steering line out of the way a little bit. We have our hardware here. Zip these down. All right, let's give her a crank and see what happens. guys so if this video helped you replace the spark plugs on your accurate tsx rsx honda accord or anything else with the k24 k20 in it please like share and subscribe we'll see you next time